Hey team! So I've been asked a whole bunch of times how I get it to look like I have so much hair when I put it up in a bun. So my hair is shoulder length. I always straighten it. I usually straighten it because I have natural curl in my hair. And although it is natural curl, it's not the pretty kind. It's like the frizzy kind. That's what it is. Um, so on days when my hair doesn't look good, the day after I straightened it or two days later because I only wash my hair a couple times a week, I will put it in a bun. So um, I use dry shampoo and it really helps to give texture to your hair so that it holds the pins a lot better. So I like this Bedhead Rockaholic um, dry shampoo. My friend Harmony is my hairdresser and I got it from her and I love it. So what I use is some dry shampoo and I just put it in different sections and as if I'm washing my hair um, and then I brush it out. So because you don't want like white flakes in your hair from the dry shampoo. So um, but it really does help to give your hair texture for when you put it up in the bun. So before I put it up I use this brush because I feel like it damages your hair less to just tease my hair. Maybe I'm wrong, but I feel like this brush dam would damage your hair less than like a comb or a regular hard bristle brush. Maybe I'm wrong, but that's my thought anyway. So I love to do this and then ask my kids if they like my hair because they get so embarrassed. It's so funny. Um, and then I use two elastics to hold my hair together. So from there, I use the hard bristle brush just to put my hair up on top of my head. There we go. It's on top of my head. It doesn't have to be perfect. I use my two elastics, put it around one time all the way through, and then the next time I make a little loop of hair. So there is my loop. You could like put your finger through the loop, right? You can see that, right? And then I just pull it through as much as I can. And I have shorter sections, so those I always like let those pop out a little bit. And then you just fan out the hair. So I grab the short sections and move them off to the side so I can pin them all together. But then you just fan the hair out, and the short sections I'm going to pin them at the side all together. And I use these ballerina bobby pins, they work really, really well for this, especially if you have some dry shampoo and if it's been a couple days since you've washed your hair. So you just fan out the hair so that you can pin the bun to the top of your head all around. And then the last section, there are going to be there's going to be like a gap between and you're, between like the your loop of hair, and you'll have to just connect those with a bobby pin. So I'm going to grab the last stray hairs here, and then bring the loop around at the back so that it has something to grab onto. And then I pin the loop together and then if there are, and the, the bun is essentially hollow 
So if you have sections where you see that there's not, like where you see that it's kind of hollow, just move the hair around and use another pin or move the pin that you have. There we go. And then like I have shorter sections on the sides and stuff like that. So I just use like a, I should probably have better hairspray, but this is what I have right now. And I just like hairspray the crap out of the rest of it. And then I have like here, like my baby bangs, right? I just, I just hairspray the crap out of those as well. Stay baby hairs. I just like plaster my hair to my head after that, basically. And then at the back, there's always like this section, right? And then I use a straight pin to pin that section straight up. So it looks like that. And that's it guys, that is the bun. And you can make it bigger than this, you can make it smaller than this. I usually actually have it bigger than this, but probably because I was trying to show you guys and hurry up. Um, that's it guys, make it look like you have more hair in a bun. <laughs>